Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a highly requested review. It's the Walther's E9 units in Union Pacific Scheme, the ABA set. Now, this is a set of two locomotives in one cell and one locomotive in another cell to make a total of three locomotives. A set that you'll see UP using for excursion service and to take the leadership of Union Pacific around on different trips. So the individual unit here, this MSRP is for $299.98. And then there's a two pack for an A and B unit, E9A and E9B, MSRP is for $569.98. So let's get started on the review of these locomotives starting right now. So we're just gonna unbox one of the locomotives for you to save time. It's got identical box set up and packing for all three. So, first you have the Walther's Proto box, which was recently redesigned, really nice. And then on the back here, they talk about the strong points of Walther's Proto, the brand, and how it's been around since 1932, Walther's has. So you've got the locomotive itself, which we'll get to in a moment. But we have here all of the information. Walther's Proto, Warranty instructions and registration on the opposite side there. You have the Tsunami Sound Guide. Talks about decoder functions. Sound configuration with DC because these are all dual. You can use them in DC and it talks about CVs for a little bit. And then the last thing you have here is a Walther's document and it has exploded parts diagram so you can order any parts you need if anything goes awry break-in procedure etc so it says to break it in you need to operate it at varying varying speed starting and stopping it frequently while running it in both the forward and reverse for an hour or so it allows the motor brushes to seat and adjust to ensure improved operation for the life of the locomotive so that's the break-in procedures. Now you have the locomotive itself here. You've got little push areas in the back to help facilitate the removal of the locomotive. And then you have the locomotive itself, which is in a plastic sleeve with surrounding styrofoam. And we're gonna pop this open and you have the locomotive. And then, one thing we also have taped inside is coupler cut lever. And it looks like an additional ditch light. So those are put inside now. The actual ditch lights are on the locomotive, already installed. And we'll show you that as soon as we get resituated. All right, these are beautifully detailed locomotives. The E9A, and I will show you the B unit and the other A unit after we go over this one. We'll cover the detail on this locomotive, and then on the other ones, I'll show them just for demonstration purposes, give you a 360 view. So we're gonna start on the front here of this locomotive. And as you see, you've got a beacon light that's not operating. You've got an antenna. Windshield wipers with a metallic finish, grab irons up top, you've got the nose light here, classification lights, you've got number boards, you have a nose door with grab irons on both sides, you have a Protomax metal coupler, MU hoses with non-operating ditch lights attached, and the Union Pacific Shield and print on the front. Now, as we come over to the side here, we have a cab window sunshade that's paint matched to the body, more separately applied grab irons along the side, the cab entry door E9 along the side, number 951 accurate for Union Pacific excursion service is present there. You've got this nice metal grating that goes all the way down the side of the locomotive, rivet detail, Union Pacific along the side, window detail, and more separately applied grabs on this entry door with fuel tank detail 
and also you've got the ladder detail down there. Truck detail is very intricate and nicely done and you've got grab irons up top, you've got winterization hatches, dynamic brake fans, horn, other d roof detail as you see here. This is immensely detailed locomotive. More separately applied grabs on the rear as we swing around and get this into view. You have a diaphragm that's operating as tension in the back. More separately applied grabs. So we swing into view the MU hoses and the rear Proto Max coupler there. Metal grating along this side as well. And all of the same detail I mentioned before. I want to show you up close the truck detail. You can really see all the intricate truck detail. The underbody and all of that roof detail. Let's give you a head-on view of the roof detail. Real weighty locomotive. Got rear view mirrors along the side there and all the warning labels in print are present along the side of the locomotive. There's a head-on view. Pretty easy modification if you want to make the ditch lights work. Simple surface mount LEDs hooked up through the headlight is what I've seen suggested online. So now we're going to show you a 360 degree view of the other two locomotives, the B unit. And if there's anything that's majorly different on the B unit, I'll mention that and then just show you a quick 360 of the A unit. All right, here is the E9B unit. A lot of the same features as the E9A unit. Difference is there's no cab. This is specifically a powered unit, so you've got diaphragms that operate on both ends. You've got MU hoses and Protomax couplers on both ends, but no discernible cab. Still that etched metal grating along the side and all the roof detail that you'd find on the A unit, separately applied grabs, etc. Rivet detail. And the nice gray roof and yellow Union Pacific body color and all that nice truck detail. So that is the B unit and a nice 360 of that. Now let's take a look at the other A unit. Here's the other A unit. Obviously same details as the first A unit, but just so you guys get to see the different road number and how all three of these locomotives operate in tandem, figure will give you a nice 360 of these locomotives. So we're going to run these with the Walders passenger fleet of UP Excursion cars at the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. All right, I've got all three E9s set up here, and we're gonna go ahead and apply track power so you can hear the startup. Here's your startup sequence. So we're going to go ahead and take a look over here at the headlight, the number boards and class lights light up, the F6 headlight F0, this is an LED, a little hard to tell with the light, but a nice bright yellowish white light coming from that, you can see the class lights are lit at the same time with the same light as the number boards. Again, 
Bridge lights and beacon light do not operate out of the box. So we're down to just one locomotive. We're gonna move it at one speed step. Now the locomotive still needs to be broken in, but as you can see, moving very, very smoothly. And popped off track there just a bit, it looked like. Well, that was a curve, I couldn't tell, but anyway, moving very smoothly at one speed step. No jerks. Two speed steps. Three. Four. And five. Reverse and go down the one here. Same smooth motion going backwards. One speed step. Two. Three, four, and five. With the other locomotives turned off, we can listen to some sounds from just one unit so you can hear that. Bell, obviously. Horn. F2 is the long horn, F3 is the short horn. You can use them together to make a grade crossing sequence like I just did. F4, dynamic brakes. And there's other features with Tsunami soundtracks, decoders, cover, uh, that we don't have time to just to keep the review concise. But let's go ahead and move on. Well guys, that wraps up the review of the Walther's E9A and B set and the separate E9A. Again, MSRP is $569.98 for the AB set and $299.98 for the separate A set. Creating an E9ABA trio that is used in the Union Pacific scheme for modern excursions, officer trips, etc. Now, there are other schemes, including Baltimore and Ohio, so be sure to check that out. I'm going to leave you with a run-by. You can probably hear the hum of the E9 trio right now. We're going to leave you with a run-by of these locomotives on my layout. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.